Hello student. How are you? I hope you are fine and doing very well. If you are looking for how you can run C and C++ program in Visual Studio Code, then you are in right place. Watch this video till the end because I am going to show you a step by step procedure to configure VS Code for running C, C++ program correctly. I am also going to show you how to write a program using printf and scanf and execute it in Visual Studio Code on Windows 10 machine. So without further delay, let's get started. Open Chrome browser. Write MinGW. This is the official website of MinGW. MinGW-W64.org. Click on download. Come down. And this is you have to download MinGW-W64 builds window for window. So I just click here and it's directing to source force. Now it is being downloaded. Now I open the folder. So I click on next. Then click on next destination folder. You can install in the same folder or you can change it. So I take the default one. Next. While it is being installed, we download VS Code. So here also you write Visual Studio Code and download for window. Click here. So it is downloaded. It's very lightweight. So it takes little time. I click on VS Code. I accept the agreement. Next, create desktop icon, add to path. Next, install. So now we have two software in install. One is MinGW, another is Visual Studio Code. So now it is installed. I click on next and it is said it is installed in GW W6. Now we go to C drive program files. This is MinGW W64. This is MinGW32. This is the so this is the path, this is the complete path. So what we'll do, we'll open control panel. Click on system. Click on advanced system setting. Click on environment variables. Click on path, edit, and click on new, copy this path. This is MinDW path. Okay, okay, okay. Path is set. We click here and we write CMD. So MinDW 
W is installed in this path. Here we write G plus plus dash version whether it's working or not. So min G W is working perfectly well. Okay. So we close now. Close this. I'll create one folder. The name of folder is tutorial underscore C. This folder I have created here. You follow? This is the folder we have created. Tutorial C. Now I load Visual Studio Code. And I'll open the folder. It is in desktop and name of folder is tutorials underscore C. Then I'll click on this. It is known as extension. And I'll install C extension by Microsoft. Keep in mind C IntelliSense. Okay. Microsoft. We are installing. So it is installed. I click on Explorer. Click here new file and program. I'm writing sum no sum no dot c. I write hash include std io dot h then i write int main bracket curly bracket then i write int num1 comma num2 comma sum these are the three variable of integer type i write printf enter first number and i write scanf double quote percentage d because percentage stand for integer then we write the variable name and percent variable name num1 this is first input second input we want to take i copy it out control c then paste control v and i write down here enter second number and num2 And I write down sum equal to num1 plus num2 semicolon because each statement terminate with semicolon in C. Then I write down printf sum of percent D plus percent D equal percent d these are the substitution variable num1 value will come in will be substituted num2 value also substituted and sum va value is substituted then i write return zero i'll explain you what the printf is what is scanf in next lesson here only i want to show you how this program is made so this part is known as declaration this part and these are the input statement this is a calculation statement this is a printing statement right right click here and we build and debug active file click here 
enter first number i given 3456 one two three four one thousand two hundred thirty four so you see the answer now you follow i'll show you the complete answer what it is so this is the answer and this is your program this is your program i hope you understood now i'll do little changes in this program to show you instead of int i take it float and instead of percent d i take percent f Uh, again I compile this program build and debug active file I write here 23.5 and 567.89 and this is the answer do you follow I have converted this program into float I hope you understood? We'll see you next class. Thank you. Thank you. If you think that my video is somewhat important and beneficial to you, then you write down comment and like and subscribe my channel so you get valuable content in next video.